Christina Elizabeth Fernandez de Kirchner was born on the 19th day of February 1953 at La Plata, Argentina. She is now 62 years old. She was the nation's first lady because her husband was Nestor Kirchner, which is the president of Argentina, year 2003. And also, she was Argentina's first elected female president and presides over the government of the second largest country in South America. She, ser she served as an example to women everywhere because she had the ability to lead a nation through hard times as well as through economic growth and sensitive diplomatic relations. If there is a chance to start a new civilization, I think President Cristina Kirchner was deserving to lead there due to the fact that she had the potential, power, and ability to lead. And also she had a great personality that she can use in a certain situation. I'm Kenneth Palmes, and I am here to endorse Ms. Karen Cristiana Figueres, Olsen, mostly known as Cristiana Figueres. She was born in August 7, 1956, currently 59 years old, and Costa Rican diplomat. She is appointed as Executive Secretary of UNCCC or UN Framework Convention on Climate Change. As of now, she works as a Global Climate Change Analyst. Aside from being environmentalist and negotiator, she is also a public speaker, novelist, and widely published author. Miss Christiana should be included because of her great cause. First, she is an environmentalist, and that means she, she mostly prioritizes the environment. It is very good to start a new civilization. We failed on taking care of the environment, and that is the reason why we are dying to look for someone to start again. In starting this new era, we must now prioritize the environment so that we could prevent this calamity happening again. Second, experience. She became a member of or even board of committee on high international organizations. Ms. Pagares is a multi-award winning person for excellence in being a good leader. to everybody our world now is dying dying because of many reasons we humans can no longer count and sadly it led to different diseases some of them directly damaging human genes that's why I am endorsing our Brazilian biologist Miss Mayanna Zetz born in Israel she moved to France with her family and lived there until the age of seven she later returned with her family in Brazil where she became a biologist and geneticist she had her BA in Biology at the University of Sao Paulo and post-doctorate in Medical Genetics at University of California at Los Angeles. Years later, her team founded the Brazilian Association of Muscular Dystrophy which treats 100 children and adolescents divided into daily groups of 20 patients, adding up up to approximately 300 people per month. I endorse Ms. Zetz for she is an expert in genetic diseases. She can help cure people with diseases that can affect the whole family and therefore the community. She can help improve the genes for the betterment of the next generation. And now ladies and gentlemen, I hope you have the same view upon this matter. I highly believe in Ms. Zetz and in her abilities that can make our lives better with less genetic problems. Thank you and goodbye. Olga D. Gonzalez Sanabria is a Puerto Rican scientist and inventor. She is the highest ranking Hispanic at NASA Glenn Research Center and a member of the Ohio Women's Hall of Fame. Gonzalez Sanabria, director of the Engineering and Technical Services, is responsible for planning and directing a full range of integrated services including engineering, fabrication, testing, facility management, and aircraft services for the Glenn Research Center. She played an instrumental role in the development of long 
long cycle life nickel hydrogen batteries which help enable the International Space Station power system. Gonzalez was born and raised in Pas Patillas, Puerto Rico, where she received both her primary and secondary e education. She, she entered the University of Puerto Rico at Mayagues after graduating from high school and earned her Bachelor of Science degree in Chemical Engineering. She continued her academic education in the University of Toledo in Ohio, where she earned her master's degree in the same discipline. She is a big help to produce a new community because of her achievements and her contributions to the society. The knowledge that she earned while working is a big advantage and a big help for everyone. And because nuclear bombings would take place and soon radiation to the strike. Fortunately, one uninhabited island somewhere on the coast of Australia would not be affected by the radiation. As part of the UN delegation, I should choose the right person from the continent of South America to live and survive the island to start a new civilization. His name is Mark Antonio Zad. He is already 16 years old and is a medical scientist who specializes in the fields of hereditary diseases or genetic disorders, molecular basis of cancer, and human population genetics. He would cure the faulty gene by introducing the patient with the healthy gene through the process of gene therapy, since this is where he specializes. This island could accept people from the outside who were affected by radiation and could possibly survive because of Mark Antonio's act through his knowledge in the specialization of medicine. This reason would give hope to humanity by means of saving people and start a new civilization in the so-called New Planet. Giselle Caroline Bunchen, born on July 20, 1980, 35 years of age a Brazilian fashion model, actress, and producer. She is the Goodwill Ambassador for the United Nations Environment Program. Bunchen supports many charities including Save the Children, Red Cross, and Doctors Without Borders, as well as dedicating time to environmental causes. She aspired to be a professional volleyball player, but at age 14 started modeling and by 1997, at 16, she had moved to New York with her mom initially and then three sisters for company. She caught the eye of top photographer Mario Testino, who declared her mesmerizing, a hard worker, and energetic. It was an extraordinary slip-up, one made all the more surprising since throughout her 14-year career. Giselle Bunchen has maintained a reputation for being easygoing and uncontroversial. Bunchen has been roundly censured for the gaff. But her words also provide a glimpse of the strength of character and force of will that has catapulted her from humble origins to her current position as a global brand and cultural icon. Because, contrary to common belief, in order to rise to the very top, even a model can't just sit around looking pretty. Christina H. Amon is a Uruguayan-American mechanical engineer and academic administrator. She is currently in her 40s and the Dean of the University of Toronto Faculty of Applied Science and Engineering, currently in the second term of the appointment. She became the 13th Dean of the Faculty of Applied Science and Engineering at the University of Toronto in 2006. Prior to her appointment at the University of Toronto, she was the Raymond J. Lane Distinguished Professor and Director of the Institute for Complex Engineered Systems at Carnegie Mellon University. Amon holds a number of honors and awards. She is a Life Fellow of the American Association for the Advancement of Science and American Society of Mechanical Engineers. She is a Fellow of the Canadian Society for Mechanical Engineering, American Society for Engineering Education, and Institute of Electrical and Electronic Engineers. In 2003, she received the Hispanic Engineer National Achievement Education Award, and in 2005, she was named one of the America's most important Hispanics in technology and business. Mm -hmm. 
building a city requires the need for technology that would help in the improvement of the quality of life in the new civilization. Christina Amon have achieved countless awards in the field of mechanical engineering, and with her contributions and knowledge, she is suitable to become part of the delegates.